But we've had some chance. The positive energy is here, despite obviously Barcelona netting that goal. Quite see the the balls are coming here. Let's go back to you guys because something's going to happen. Rolfo with the ball in. And it wasn't kept out by Zinsberger. She thought she might have been able to get her hands to it. But Barcelona have a second. They've been pushing for it throughout the whole game. On the score sheet for Barcelona once again. Look how wide and free Rolfo is in this example. And sends a great ball in, but question marks over the mark. And Catley, BT. I mean, Hermoso's just standing inside the six-yard box. She doesn't have to move. She just has to get this timing right. Get a touch on it. Zinsberger thought she had it and then didn't. But as it comes in, you have to be marking a top striker like Hermoso. Kenny Hermoso's first start of the season tonight. And she has her first goal as well. Only just that. And a Marquise who's been so impressive. And Nick goal tonight that came very close to keeping that out from Jenny Amoso and Barcelona lead 2-0 Bonmati Arsenal just struggling to clear this ball out Graham Hansen nice bit of play by Barcelona and surely It is another goal, and it's another goal for Hermoso. Arsenal in this second half, and they've got a fourth. Look how easy this is, though, just to get turned. Little give and go. Ball in a great area. Goalkeeper almost does enough, but not quite. And Hermoso just about, just about gets it over the line. But it's this bit of action here. Bang, bang, in behind. So difficult to defend against. Arsenal so deep, scrambling around, trying to keep the ball from crossing the line. And most of it makes a real mess of it, but just gets there. Make it the set piece. Oh, so much hasn't got there. Barcelona lead. It's not taking them long at all. Yeni Hermoso. She starts in the ball rolling for Barcelona tonight. It's a free header in the end. All she needs to do is just flake it up, guide it home. So simple in the end. Stukovic was committed. Robert Dorf. Just loves to drive forward here, Nena Oberdorf for Rood. Playing that role in the pocket. It's Vasmut! Just like that, some Wolfsburg in front. That's her fifth. Oh, very close offside call. But she was there where they needed her Wolfsburg to apply the finishing touch, and she did. And they lead in terrain. Oh, Wasmuth could be in here. It could be worse. It's worse for Chelsea, but it's so, so good for Wolfsburg. Wasmuth has her second. She's got eight now in the competition's group stages. And Wolfsburg have four. Surely have topped the group now. Yeah, good evening for Wolfsburg. Really messy there at the back from Chelsea. But Wasmut, she knows how to score. I mean, the, the last finish was a manufactured finish, a toe poke when she needed it. This time, she just lets fly. Just makes sure that she gets good contact and it hits the roof of the net. It's Eric Cuthbert that just you know, doesn't quite get there. The ball comes off Wasmut, but she makes it happen. Home fans in anticipation. It's a dangerous ball in. 
And there's the opportunity for Vasmuth, and Wolfsburg have scored their second. Third goal of the campaign for Tabia Vasmuth. A neat turn, swivel and finish. It was a set piece that Savet were unable to deal with. They couldn't get it clear. Vasmuth from six yards with the smart swivel. And the first time finish. It's her fourth goal in her last four matches. A couple of new signings for them as well. Big ball over there. And the pressure's on, and here's an opportunity of an open goal for Wolfsburg. And they've got one back completely against the run of play. Oh, my word. Wasmut took advantage of that. And Chelsea elapsed in concentration. And Wolfsburg have an equaliser. Just a long ball in by Oberdorf, not dealt with by Magda Eriksson or Ann Berger. Well taken by Wasman, but really poor communication there. One of the players, Berger or Eriksson, must commit to that. Really trying to disrupt Chelsea's play as soon as they get the ball. Oh, Wasmut chasing this ball down, gets the better of Carter, here's another chance! Oh, it's gone from bad to worse for Chelsea! And it's another goal for the visitors, and Wasmut gets her second of the evening. Berger there, well, you can see, though Wasmut did well, put some pressure on, Jess Carter really having to turn on the pace. Must make sure of that, it was always going to be a difficult angle. But really, Chelsea are their own worst enemies, aren't they? I mean, credit to Wolfsburg, great finishes. Westmoor's great pressure here, fantastic finish, really calm under pressure. If they do get knocked out here, because I don't think that anyone would have expected Chelsea to go out. Huge, without a doubt, absolutely huge. Well, it could be worse here because Westmoor is in the competition's top goal scorer. Have to, from a Wolfsburg point of view, believe in this player, Wasmut. She just gets a sniff and knows exactly how to finish this. There's no way she can take a side foot here. It's a toe poke. It has to be. It means that she can take it early. It means that the goalkeeper sees it late and she gets that touch there just before Millie Bright can make. Ralk. Oh, and Vasmut, it's three. And Tabea Vasmut continues her very hot scoring streak. Top of the Champions League goal scoring charts. Cross took a couple of deflections, in fact, and Vasmut there to prod it beyond the goalkeeper. Her sixth goal in the Ball still alive here. Rauch with the ball in. Couldn't quite find the feet of a Wolfsburg player. Ball comes back in again, and there's Wasmut with the header. There she is again. Wolfsburg strike first. Here at the Arsenal Stadium. It has been a pretty open game so far. On this area of the pitch as well. I mean, the one-two pass. You know, Hood almost gets a touch in there. And then again, the cross finds a player directly in between, you know, two players. I think it's Beth Mead and Leah Williamson. So she's standing fairly open. So I think Arsenal will, you know, probably take a look at that defensive play as well and be a bit disappointed. And they know that they have to watch Masmuth. She's been incredible, especially in the Champions League. I mean. Fleury with the header, trying to set Savet on their way. But it's Wolfsburg. Launching the counter-attack, looking for the third and getting it before half-time as well. Vrasmuth with her second of the evening. 
And this game is possibly over as a contest before half-time. Finding herself in behind. Perfectly timed run, no question of offside. She split the defence. Forward ball by Rourke, perfectly weighted. Basmuth with one touch and then finishing through the legs of Pereira with the second.